Welcome to Art Vega. Today we'll be just we will be showing you transformations of shapes. The topics we'll be talking about today are congruent shapes and reflection. Okay. Congruent. Uh, the first rule of congruent shapes is three sides are the same. The three sides of the first triangle are equal to the three sides of the second triangle. Of the second triangle, the SSS rule, side side side. You see. The second rule of congruence is that the two sides and the angles are the same. But the angle has to be to, between the two sides to make them congruent. The third rule of, co of congruent shapes is two sides in the right angle triangle are the same in a right angle triangle. Oh, are the same. In a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse and one other side in the first triangle are equal to the hypotenuse corresponding side in the second triangle. The final rule of congruence is the AAS rule, where the at the angles are the two angles opposite opposite each other are the same, and so is the side. This is the ASS rule of congruence. Well, we're talking about reflection. Another brilliant joke. Reflection. When an object is transformed by a reflection, the object and its image are always the same. Perpen perpendicular distance from the mirror line. Perpendicular means at right angles to. At right angles to. A, the example of this are A and A. On the same perpendicular distance from the. Well, you can go on, speak. The same perpendicular distance from the mirror line as are A, and B, B, and C, C. As you can see. Yeah. The object ABC has been reflected in the mirror line to give the image ABC. The, uh, P and P are the same perpendic perpendicular distance from the mirror line as are Q and Q, R and R, and S and S. The object QRS has been, <laughs> reflect has been reflected in the mirror line to give the image PQRS. This is reflection. Now you've learned the model, let us reflect out of here. <laughs>